it's spooky season here so that means it's time for our spooky makeup tutorials Ooh. today i'm going to show you how i did this glam-ish leather face so if you want to see how i create this look then just keep on watching so we're starting out with the glue that holds my apparent life together right now and it's liquid latex i'm also using a face cast as well this is a face cast of my face obviously if you don't have one you can use either a polystyrene head which you can get on amazon or you can even use a flat surface as long as you know what kind of shape you're using to create that kind of mask effect and you obviously want to get in every nut and cranny with this you don't want to miss a spot because once you peel it off you'll notice those little spots missing so i put it all on i'm using a brush to apply it which bad big mistake because i ended up throwing this brush but you know it, you know how it is then i'm going to cover it with toilet paper i'm cutting little bits off and only using one ply of toilet paper just so it doesn't look too thick this is going to create texture but it's also going to make the um face piece a little bit stronger so it's not just liquid latex it's got something to it some integrity do you know what i mean integrity i don't even know if that's the right word but you know what i mean i also rip the toilet paper up as well so it's a little bit more frayed and it's not got those square straight edges we want it to look like almost like skin so we don't want you know like sharp edges here and there and then on top of that we're going to add liquid latex all over the top of that really blending it into all those edges blending it out all over covering every little bit of toilet paper and i repeat this once like i'd repeat this about three times just to make it a little bit thicker it's easier to peel off when it comes time but just make sure that the whole face cast or wherever you're doing this is fully covered so we're going to let that face cast dry for around oh, i do it overnight so around 24 hours sometimes it's a little bit sooner once it's all dry we're going to powder it down making sure it's matte and it makes it easier to peel then we're going to carefully i repeat this again carefully i always struggle with this bit but you've got to try and peel that liquid latex back what i do is i use my powder brush and just keep powdering underneath so it doesn't stick together be very gentle with this take your time with it use a lot of powder and just keep gently peeling it back this took me a good while a good while but if you're not gentle with it or you're too harsh or whatever or not enough powder it'll either stick to each other and then you've got a useless piece or it'll rip that was my biggest fear here and like as soon as i got to know i was all like oh my god i'm gonna cry this is too much but we did it in the end best way i do it is try and almost like just peel a little bit and once you get that little bit start adding that powder and keep peeling little bits here and there until it all starts coming off in one piece but like i said it's tedious it's annoying it it feels like it's gonna rip but you've just got to be really careful also as well with the previous step if you've done enough layers and it's dried long enough then you should be fine also with this as well if you do get a few little rips and tears here and there it's not that bad it's not that important because i mean you'll see why soon but it's not it actually adds to the look you know i think leather's face is is meant to be like someone else's skin on his face so like it's fine do you know what i mean it's fine Now we're moving on to the paint job. So I'm using cream paints here and I take a mixture of brown, yellow, black and white and just make this like dirty brown like sort of colour so that it looks like dirt but also like skin as well. Like a, I don't know, like almost like a bit of a rotted kind of skin. I don't know how to describe it. That's the best way to do it but you can see it here and I think it just makes it look, makes it look good. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is right. I feel like it's right. I don't know. I could be wrong. Then I'm adding a little bit of my own foundation as well. Just to lighten it here and there. Make it look a little bit more like skin. Um, but I think this really blent out really nice. Then I'm going to be adding black powder just around the eyes. Around the nose hole. Around any holes that are going to be there. So eyes and mouth. Just to add a little bit more shading and a little bit more dimension too. This is just easier to do before it's on my face honestly you could do it while it's on your face but it's just so much easier you got more control 
paint job is done and look how chuffing and creepy that looks. I don't know what's worse, the mask or the face cast inside. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to cut it up now, which you're going to be like, what are you doing, Laura? Why are you cutting this up? But honestly, I am. We're going to cut it up into little sections and make sure we don't lose it. Not into little sections, just into half. Because we're going to sew it back up to make it look a little bit more weird and a bit strange. I just thought it'd look really cool. So we're just going to sew up all those edges basically sewing the mask back together i use a black thread just so you can see it a little bit better but yeah that's it really you can get as creative as you want you can do as many slits as many coats as many stitches i just did one on the eye and then one big one on my nose and then one next to my mouth as well Fun fact for you, I've never actually seen the um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre before. Never seen it, scares me too much, and I'm not, I like horrors, but I think about them too much. So like, I'll watch a horror and then I'll go home, whatever, wherever I am, I'll go to bed, and I'll be like, shit, someone's gonna come kill me now, this is, this is fabulous. So I don't really watch them, I avoid watching them. Tell you what, I haven't done this much sewing since we're in textiles in high school. I might get my sewing kit back out and start doing a little bit of textiles. Why not? It's got me inspired. <laughs> Now that's the mask done, or pretty much done, let's move on to the face. Ah, look how gullible I look. I don't realise I'm going to get a rash from the liquid latex after this, but we move. Hair up, we don't want liquid latex in the hair. I've done that before, pulled the hair out before. Not, not planning on doing that again. And there's the mask, look how fucking gorgeous I am. Woohoo! Now I'm going to just do a basic eye look. I wanted to make this kind of glam but still scary, still creepy. I'm um, going in with a P. Louise base and just patting that in to prep my eyelids. I'm going in with the Carnival palette by Be Perfect. This is the like, interstellar one, they've done loads of these. And I'm going in with a black shade and we're gonna create a smoky wing liner because I had no idea what kind of eye look I was gonna do. I just knew I wanted something dark black and smoke it and I'm like fuck it a smoky liner it will do the job it will do it did the job it's done the job it's it's good we're good Now 
And I'm 90% sure that Leatherface would wear a liquid liner. Um, and if he don't, I, I'm going to. Because why wouldn't, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? We're just adding that base underneath the eye and then I'm also going to add the dark shades under the eye as well just to basically match underneath so it looks dark and deep. I'm also going to add a pencil liner as well, a black pencil liner, just again to make it look dark and all cohesive with the look. I really want the eyes to almost stand out within the mask and I know that's going to be difficult because I'm going to be wearing a fecking mask, do you know what I mean? So this will hopefully help. I don't know, but I did it anyway. Yep, I did just put my eye then. Great. And of course, of course we are going in with a nude lip. It's just, it just has to be a nude glossy lip because why not? Why not? It's only Halloween once a year. We're getting, we're getting a glossy lip out because I never do this. Do you know what I mean? What am I on about? But you know what I mean? I just think it'll just, again, add that contrast to the whole look. I don't know. I like it anyway. And of course, we're adding glitter, because why won't we? And then we're adding lashes and mascara, mascara and lashes. I wish I'd have put the lashes on after, though, because I actually got liquid latex in my lashes, which isn't good, but is what it is. And then I'm just going to use liquid latex just to attempt, attempt to stick this mask on. Honestly, I'm in great difficulty with it, but we got there eventually, so that's the main thing. Now the mask is on, I'm just going to make sure I'm pressing it in so it's really stuck on there. And then I'm going to apply liquid latex just around the edges to sort of blend it out into my skin. And almost make it stick a little bit better as well. And then we're just going to fan that down with my little thing. Then after that, when it's all dry, we're going to powder it down to get rid of any shine that could be there. And I'm also going to add some of the paint that I use to paint the mask as well on the sides. Just so it blends in and doesn't look too strange or too weird or too disconnected. We don't want it to look like it's literally just been stuck on my face. I want it to kind of look like it's part of my face, but not. Then, my favourite part, scab blood. We're going to add this inside the little holes where we can see the stitching. Put that all in there. I'm also going to add that inside, like, round my eye holes, if that makes sense. I'm also using a fluffy brush just to blend it out so it's darker in the edges, but then lighter as it's coming out. I'm also going to do this all the way through the edge of the mask as well, and then we're just going to blend it out as well. Can you see what I mean? So you're putting it in the edge and then blending the edges out so that it's still the darkest in the like crease of it all, but then blend out. And that's the look, guys. All done. What do you think? I love it. I'm obsessed. Ah!